and then this nerve connected to the diaphragm is the phrenic nerve, correct? And here, the ascygus vein, those veins radiating from it, connecting it to the uh, muscles of the ribs is called the posterior intercostal veins. Intercostal is in between the ribs, correct? Now, on the other side, of course, we have we have the aorta, okay, and so this is now the aortic arch where it branches into two, and so uh, those arteries branching from it going into the ribs are post superior intercostal arteries, correct? Now there will be a question here. You see this white, white uh, thread like a structure here? Mm, yeah, kind of. What do you call that? This? It's not, it's not, a, it's not an artery, it's not a vein, so it's nerve. So it should be posterior intercostal nerve. So it's in between. This, you see this white thing? Okay, and of course, even if it is like a fine one like that, see it, the, the Professor Basido can always attach a string to this one. Mm. So he always asks that. Okay, now we go down. Ew, look at the blood. Do you have, you have to clean that one. Okay, here is your kidney, correct? Here is the adrenal gland, correct? And we said that uh, where you find the veins, you find the arteries, you find the nerves. And the name of the vessels depend on the organ. So we have renal vein, renal artery, renal nerve, okay? From the adrenal gland, so this is like a pea-like structure. So this is what we call the mesentery. You see that one? So we have two major arteries are branching from it connected to the aorta. You see these two major arteries here? This one is the celiac trunk. You see that? Yes. And this one is the superior mesenteric artery. And if you go down, the artery connected to the large intestine, this. So these are mesenteries. So celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, the one that is found connected to the large intestine is the inferior mesenteric artery. Correct? And then of course this is the urinary bladder. So this is a female. This is the uterus. This one. And at the end of it, At the end of the uterus is the ovary, this. This is the ovary, here. Yeah. And of course, you have the vessels uh, branching from it. You have the ovarian vein and ovarian artery, correct? Now, I told you that if you are going to trace how the aorta moves down towards the So this is now your letter Y. And then it branches into two. The one on the outer one, you see this bigger one? Is the right external iliac artery, left external iliac artery, the smaller one. You see that smaller one? Mm -hmm. Remember the copy of the packet I gave you for the lab? Mm -hmm. So this is now the uh, internal iliac artery, left 
left and this is the right okay now if it is a male cap you don't find this you don't find the uterus what happens is i i haven't seen a male cap though in your class so if this is the if this is the urinary bladder in the male cat there are two white threads here that goes around like that that is called the vas deferens mm -hmm. there's a vas deferens okay and of course you know when it's a male cat it has like you know balls. the the balls or the testes <laughs> you know what <laughs> well will he ask that on the on the practical will there be a male cat and then he might ask those male no parts? because from that you will know if that what this white thread is oh, okay. if it has like test okay i also notice in your answer in your labeling uh what's the difference with the uh, spelling t-e-s-t-i-s -T and t-e-s-t-i-e-s -T singular and plural. plural correct the t-i-s is singular the t-i-e-s is a plural form okay and then of course if this is the kidney uh, from the urinary bladder, you have a tube branching from it that connects to the kidney, and that is the ureter. Where is it? I think this one. And do not confuse it with the uterus. Isn't it this one? Yeah, this one. Now, with the structure of the kidney, this will not be cut. Remember you have the <coughs> specimen for the kidney? Mm -hmm. So it will be us in that specimen and then also from the model. Mm -hmm. And also in the heart. So there should be no problem in the identification of the parts of the heart because it's easy. Remember the superior vena cava, it goes into the right atrium. The hole in the right atrium is called the coronary sinus. And then the flap on the right side is the tricuspid bulb. The third leg -like structure is the chordae tendine. And at the end of the chordae tendine connected to the wall of the ventricle is called the papillary muscle. And then, of course, you have those, especially in the left side, those uh, folded like -like structure in the ventricle are called trabeculae carnea. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, and then you have going to the pulmonary trunk in the heart is you cannot confuse because the pulmonary trunk is like it crosses the thoracic part of the cat so the opening the flap in the opening of the pulmonary trunk is called the pulmonary 